Shalom, shalom. Welcome back, guys. So today I'm going to be fringing one of my Bible shirts that I currently have on sale. Um, Lord's will, it's going to be a ongoing sale with the Bible shirts. It has some really nice verses on it. Um, it basically tells you, you know, about feeling sad and where in the King James Version Bible you can go to find what um, feeling sad is about, feeling scared, feeling lonely, bitter, stressed, um, selfish, and, you know, feeling happy and um, being unfaithful, uh, discouraged at work, and all these other things. Um, it, it really has like a, a list of details that basically you can go study on. Um, our motto basically is to study and to, you know, to pray that we can do better. And also to try to apply to the best of our abilities, the laws uh, and commandments of um, God and Christ. So I have a shirt that I am selling on my Etsy um, shop. Also, I have it on Facebook and Instagram. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how I fringe that shirt um, to put it out there for you guys to uh, give as a gift or to wear it as uh, for yourself. Um, with that, I am also going to make sure that you guys have the ribbon of blue that you need. Um, I am selling ribbon of blue. All of it is not posted on the Etsy shop as yet, but it's a work in progress. I'm trying to get there. Tonight we're going to be, uh, doing my first live, all praises to the most high. And we're going to get things done from here on out so here we go let's get started enough talking thanks again for coming back for those who have subscribed to my video already for those who are new hello 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 thank you for choosing this video to see how to fringe and please like and subscribe if you like what you see and if this is a video that you are going to be interested in watching please watch until the end So, I like to, uh, the shirts are always already folded um, or have a crease. So, what I like to do is when I put my shirt into the machine, I like to start like a few centimeters or inches away from that crease so that when I wash it and when I fold it, um, the overlapping of the fringes don't get in my way. So, that's one of my tips that I use with all of my clothing. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is find some some fringes here, which is a little further than I expected. So one moment. We're going to take the fringes here. We're going to line it up with that very first thread stitching on the bottom of the shirt. We have two stitches. We have one on the top and one on the bottom. Like you guys have seen in my previous videos, I use the one on the top to guide me to make sure that the fringes are nice and straight and on top of that we're going to add our ribbon today i am using the suede suede or velvet uh blue i also have a royal blue and a navy blue that has a gold trim at the end so here we go we're going to get started Right now my machine tension's at three, the width is at one, the length is at two, and this gives me a nice steady pace that I'm comfortable with. The machine doesn't feel like it's pulling too much or tugging at me. My thread doesn't get bulky at the bottom. I get a nice clean stitch. I'm using my straight stitch for the bottom and the top. I'm not doing any zigzags or, or fancy anything. When I'm lining up the thread with the fringes at the same time, I like to go bit by bit. I don't like to speed or rush through it. I want to make sure that I am also not stitching the shirt together with the front and the back of the shirt. I'm paying attention to that first stitching on the bottom of the shirt. To make sure that my lines are nice and clean 
I want to make sure that when I'm putting down my blue ribbon that it's not, you know, zigzagging or crunching up. It's nice and sturdy. What I really love about my ribbon is that it's so thick that it doesn't crunch up. Like some ribbons, when they're too thin and you're stitching them, no matter if you double stitch them or single stitch, stitch them, they start giving you like a ripple effect. This ribbon is nice and straight. It's nice and hard. Um, I, I don't want to say hard like the material of it is hard. I mean, it's firm. It doesn't move. It doesn't give me that ripple effect. It does exactly what I want it to do. And it gives me a clean, nice looking ribbon. Everything that I'm using, you can find on my Etsy shop. You can find the ribbon. You can find... The fringes, you can find the shirt. So please check out my Etsy shop. I'll try to leave the link somewhere in the bio or on this video. If anything that you need that you do not see on my Etsy shop, you can also message me. And um, sometimes I'll have it for sale on Facebook. And not put it on the shop because it's not an ongoing item. It's just an item that a customer requests. And I purchased, you know, a, a bit more of it to see if any, any, uh, to see if anyone else, I'm sorry for the tongue twister, guys, I'm human, to see if anyone else would like that product as well. So, you know, depending on what one customer likes, sometimes another customer likes, sometimes a, a customer likes something different. I always try to be versatile in what I offer you guys. So little by little, we're going to continue stitching. We're almost done. We're almost at the end. What I like doing when I get to the end, I use a little... I don't go all the way up under there because it's hard for me to cut and to seal. So this is the part where I'm cutting and sealing. I'm going a little bit further. If you can see where it's ending right here, I'm going a little bit further than that. I always overlap it to make sure that it's continuous. And then if you can see where I'm cutting. So there's a little loop on the top of the fringe right here. What I like to do is I cut on the side of that to make sure that the fringes are nice and um, laid flat, if you can see that. So there's a little bit right here that I am going to uh, use my lighter and seal that so that it doesn't start fraying. And the reason why I like to pull it away from here because. If you try to put the lighter under here, it's going to burn the thread. You don't want to add extra work. So you just seal it. If it's um, a polyester brand or a cotton brand, it'll normally shrink up. If there's any fray frayaways like here, if you can see that little frayaway right there, you cut that down, you seal that down as well from the beginning so that everything is nice and neat. Okay, and then because this ribbon is so thick, I don't have to like um, fold it because normally with the thin ones, what I would do is I would take, take it and then I would fold it like that so that it can go around if you can see that. But I'm not doing that now because this is nice and sturdy. So I'll just um, continue stitching like I was doing before. So let me show you what I mean. We're getting to the point where the uh, beginning is meeting the end. And because we are, I want this to be a clean transaction. So you got to move really slow and precise at this point. Make sure everything's lined up. I want the ribbon of blue to continue into each other. Just like that. And then I go back. Once I go back. 
you see the little end of that there I'm going to start moving my needle from the top row to the bottom row so I can still seal the bottom of my ribbon so all I do is just slightly push the fabric to the top a little bit further so that my needle can now be at the bottom now once the top is sealed the bottom you don't need to really move that slow but if you are a beginner please do take your time nobody wants anything sloppy or messy as you can see when you are um, fringing or sewing anything the the fabric tends to start folding like this and this is what causes you to end up stitching the fabric together so you always got to make sure you keep smoothing it out as you go even the fringes sometimes they get hooked they go under the machine like that you want to make sure everything is nice and flat nothing is on the bottom As I am pulling the ribbon through the machine, I am making sure to keep my eyes on the very bottom here because sometimes when you're doing it that fast, the machine tends to pull the thread or your ribbon and you start zigzagging. So I'm trying to make sure that I keep my eyes focused on the bottom of the thread so that way I can get that clean stitch on that bottom row as close as possible. Everybody say hi to Princess. She just woke up. I'm hoping one day that she takes over. She starts making some beautiful dresses and garments for you guys but I have a couple of years to go. She's only one. <laughs> so at this point, um, I don't have to backstitch because I backstitched the top. So I just cleanly cut the thread as close to the fabric as possible so it doesn't leave any type of um, nothing hanging or anything like that. It's nice and smooth. It's complete, if I can back that up, if you can see that. So it's all lined up. You can see the double right there. The, the beginning is over here. The end is over there. And I'm all done. And um, I'll leave you guys some pictures after the video to show you what the shirt looks like in its entirety. And um, hopefully you guys, i see you guys at my Etsy shop. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for coming like and subscribe please don't forget and please come back and see my next video talk to you soon shalom